This animation introduces CGene's innovative DPO primer technology, which has become a model for multiplex PCR in the field of molecular diagnostics. Primers are the key for successful multiplex PCR. Unlike a conventional primer, a DPO is a new and novel primer concept that fundamentally blocks non-specific priming and consequently delivers a reliable multiplex PCR. It has a unique structure that contains a polydeoxylinosine linker that is inserted into the primer sequence. This separates a single primer into two functional regions that have characteristic annealing temperatures. Because the sequence of the 5' prime portion is approximately two times longer than the 3' prime portion, the 5' prime portion has a higher TM and will preferentially bind to the template DNA first during PCR. The 5' prime portion works as a stabilizer, initiating stable binding of the DPO primer. In contrast, the 3' prime portion under normal PCR cycling conditions can't bind to the template DNA by itself. The 3' prime portion works as a determiner of specificity. Its binding is required for elongation of the DPO primer. Only target-specific extension will result from the successful annealing of both the 5' prime portion and 3' prime portion of a DPO primer. Although the 5' prime portion of DPO primer can bind to a non-target sequence, the 3' prime portion will not bind to a non-target sequence. Therefore, non-target amplification doesn't occur. In contrast, a conventional primer doesn't have a 3' prime portion that provides discrimination, such as in a DPO primer. This prevents non-specific priming and amplification. Therefore, when a conventional primer binds to a non-target sequence, amplification of the non-target DNA will occur. The general barrier of multiplex PCR is the narrow window for an appropriate annealing temperature. However, structural features of DPO primers allow it to maintain PCR specificity over a wide range of annealing temperatures. This means DPO primers can amplify the target DNA with a tolerance in annealing temperature differences of approximately 10 degrees Celsius. Other barriers of multiplex PCR are primer dimerization and secondary structures that interfere with the ability of the primer to bind to its target region. DPO primers fundamentally cannot form dimers and complex secondary structures, allowing DPO primers to perform outstandingly in multiplex reactions. The most critical factor in multiplex PCR is equivalent and simultaneous amplification of multiple targets. Equivalent amplification of multiple target sequences usually does not occur due to interference and primer competition. However, the unique structure of DPO primers does not allow for primer competition. In conclusion, DPO primers are free from primer competition, primer dimerization, and the formation of complex secondary structures. This, therefore, enables equivalent and simultaneous amplification of multiple targets in a single reaction. These outstanding features of DPO primers have brought incredible improvements to multiplexing and have become the foundation of CGene's multiplex PCR products.
CPO primers guarantee high specificity under a variety of PCR conditions. DPO primers are the state-of-the-art for multiplex PCR. DPO primers are simple to design and easy to optimize. DPO technology has been widely applied to the detection of numerous pathogens, such as those involved in respiratory diseases, sexually transmitted infections, meningitis, and sepsis. It is widely used for detecting antibiotics resistance in bacteria, as well as cancer markers.